Hey guys, what's going on? We are back with the Villanova Dynasty, and today they're taking on Crosstown Rivals, the Temple Owls. And Temple is actually coming in at 5-2, and two, though their overall isn't as overwhelming as some of the other teams we have played. So maybe Villanova can take this game. Who knows? Maybe they can shock Philadelphia and uh, go above 500 and win this game, but we'll have to see. Temple does boast a pretty tough quarterback, and Ventel Bryant, who is an extremely very, very, very nice wide receiver, actually. So we will see what can happen. However, I don't know. Maybe they will be outmatched. It's 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 all going to be a matter of time, and we'll see what Villanova does with their first possession here. Malik Dupree, 13 yards right out of the gate. Another first down right there. But Narchik is going to throw the screen. And Dupree gets away from the tackle. Picking up five. Not a terrible start. Looking pretty good so far. But Narchik now has to roll to the outside. He throws downfield. Oh, I thought that could have been a catch, but an incompletion. That'll give Temple the ball. Throw here to Armstead, and he's not going to get the first down, so right while Armstead is stopped, Villanova will get the ball back. A four, first quarter that is going by pretty quickly. Now Temple on a first and ten here. There goes Frank Noodle, and Frank Noodle is going to get caught from behind. 23-yard run there. Let's see what will happen as a throw to the outside to Jennings. And Jennings, a first down, Adonis Jennings. Now Frank Noodle going to run it again. And this time he is inside the five. First and goal, Frank Noodle. He's going to throw across the field. Not a smart throw, but Keith Kirkwood there to make the touchdown grab. And Temple is going to go on top seven to nothing. As the first quarter is winding down. And now a screenplay there to Aaron Forbes. That's not going to pick up anything of any significance. So we have a first quarter where Temple is on top. But it is 7 nothing, And Villanova trying to get this drive going. And get back into this game and tie this thing up. Let's see what happens. Villanova not able to do it, and now Temple is going to get the ball back, and there goes Noodle, and Noodle breaking some tackles. Oh, my goodness, this quarterback can't be stopped on the ground for some reason. There goes Armstead, and he's going to pick up a first down as well. And here goes Armstead again, and right well Armstead is almost there, pretty close inside the five there. Noodle is going to look, looking for somewhere to go, but he's going to take it himself. For an easy touchdown, and Temple is looking at a 14-0 lead already. Not good news for the Wildcats. So here goes Villanova. Third and six on their possession, and that is a terrible throw to the outside by Bednarczyk. That's going to set Temple up. With another try, but they're third and 20 here, but Kirkwood's going to pick it up anyway as the defense cannot bring him down in time. And that will leave Armstead with a screenplay in which he is going to pick up a ton of yards, 25 yards to be exact. And here goes Noodle looking to the outside. He's going to throw it at Kirkwood, and Kirkwood this time with another first down, 21 yards. Now Frank Noodle is looking again, and he is going to climb on top of some people for a first down. And then David Hood for the touchdown to finish it off. A 21-0 lead now for Temple. There is a great throw downfield to Travis George. And that is going to leave Villanova with a chance. And there goes Travis George. So now we have a second and 18 and a throw, and it's, it's intercepted. Darn. Villanova just, even when it looks like they're getting close in this game, they're just not that close. But let's see what Temple will do with this possession. Can Villanova stop him? Nearly intercepted by McCoy, and he knows he messed one up there big time. He had such a good chance at that one. 
and just was not able to make the play. But halftime score, Temple 21, Villanova 0. Villanova's been here before, and they've come back pretty well in some games, especially in Season 1. But here goes Temple, and that is a wide-open tight end for a huge gain and that'll set up Armstead to pick up a first down here with a big run and now Noodle on the option and Noodle with another touchdown this quarterback cannot be stopped this is looking ugly 28 to nothing now and an incomplete Travis George should have had that ball the big time playmaker that he is here's a throw down field and that one's going to be intercepted by Thomas and Thomas is going to stumble, but nonetheless, it is Temple ball. And there is going, they're going to stop Temple, but they're going to go for a long field goal, and they've got the kicker to drain it. A 31-0 lead for Temple already in this ball game. That's going to make it very hard on Villanova to run their game plan. They're going to try and run the ball a little bit running their game plan, but a 31-0 game right now makes it tough, and that's a turnover on downs as Mark Ferrante, no stranger to fourth downs and going for it and trying to do it all for his team. But there's a bomb to Keith Kirkwood right over the head of the safety out there, uh, Golden. And another interception. You just can't get it done when the quarterback's throwing interceptions like this. And that is just going to be a pick six as the corner is able to stiff arm the offense for a touchdown. And now Temple's going to set up for another field goal later on here on a fourth and 14 as Villanova just can't get anything going on offense. But here we go, a kickoff. After it's 48 to nothing, and Aaron Forbes able to break a tackle or two and get to around the 42, where Villanova will start this drive right here and intercept it. Just anytime anything looks like it's going okay, it's not. And a broken tackle by the corner, and he will get his pick six. 55 to nothing, Temple on top. And anybody who was rooting for Villanova in this in this game is just embarrassed wearing bags on their heads right now. It's only going to bring them to 4 and 5, but still look at this game. They're just Villanova just running the clock out right now, but they're able to run all the way downfield. Maybe they should have run more earlier. And there's a nice throw to JD Hernandez. For a touchdown, it is no longer a shutout. Temple Bench is upset that it is not a shutout anymore, and the defense gave that one up. But here we go. There's another field goal for Temple. And 58-7. to And another interception. Another one. And that would do it. 58-7. to Temple on top there. Frank Noodle, easily the player of the game. And Temple downright embarrasses Villanova here in the city of Philadelphia. Zach Benarchik wasn't great. All three quarterbacks got to play today. None of them could throw for over 56 yards. One of them threw a touchdown, and it was third stringer. Third stringer Jack Schledich was able to throw the touchdown, and that went to J.D. Hernandez. The running backs didn't really get much of an opportunity. They probably would have been able to do more if they had. J.D. Hernandez and Travis George, the only one that wanted to make catches out there today. And Travis George could have had another one, and it would have been a big one. Defense didn't do much. They did have three sacks. No interceptions, no fumbles to speak of. There's the game around the country. Nobody gives a crap brought to you by Legion. We do get somehow get two recruits. At the end of this game, a 79 cornerback, uh, that would be Robertson, and then Washington, a 78 end. So we do get some guys. Ferrante, not in danger of losing his job, but if the losses continue to pile up, he will be. As you can see, the target wins is 7, and we have not hit the target. We didn't hit it last year as we had 4 wins. We have tied our win total already with 4 wins, but... We need to get a couple more wins this season. At least get six or seven wins here. 
And we would have to pretty much win out to get the seven. So let's see what we can do for the rest of the season. But we are going to try to recruit a banging ass recruiting class here. Um, as we do have a lot of very nice players interested in us and uh, mutual interest there. So we are going to try and dump as many points into these guys as we can. It is getting a little late now. The reject pool is not 100% good out there, but we are going to try and bring some guys in anyway. We're going to try and bring in all the guys on our board, as we do like to keep 35 guys on our board at all times. So there's a couple more we can go out and take a look at and try and search for. So we'll go ahead and do that here. Uh, yeah, let's try and bring in Bailey as a defensive end. We'll try and bring in an outside linebacker. Anything that we can get on defense that can help these guys because a lot of times they just bleed points. So we'll see what we can do. And it's just, it's going to be, it's going to be rough. Um, but we are trying to bring in as many recruits as we possibly can. We need a really good recruiting class. We only had, what, 39th recruiting class last season. So we need just about anyone we can get that can give us some, give us some depth and maybe, maybe just become a star on our team. Like, we need something like that. A guy that makes the surefire tackle. A guy that doesn't drop an interception. It's tough to find that guy, but we are looking, and we find Joey Blair, a 76 overall corner. We have got to throw some points into this guy. I throw points. I put a scholarship on him. I put more points. We want Joey Blair. We need a corner on this, on this team. All right, so next week we'll be taking on UConn, guys. Kirk is going to go with UConn. What do you guys think? Put your score in the comment box below for a chance to win a prize if you guess it exactly. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Plenty more of this coming your way. Thank you.